How many slaves work for you? That's right, slaves working for you. Take a closer look at the goods that make up your daily life. Who made the soap you wash your face with each morning? Stitched the shirt that you wear? Carried the beans on his back that are now in your coffee cup? Or mined the tantalum in your car, in your smartphone, in your computer? Today, you don't have to live on a plantation to employ slaves. Global corporations can do it for you by subcontracting work out to low-cost producers, some of which rely on child labor, forced labor, violence, and exploitation. Walk Free Foundation estimates that 35.8 million people are working in slave-like conditions around the world. Over 23 million, or 66% of the world's slaves, are in Asia Pacific. There are over 5 million in Sub-Saharan Africa, 2.6 million in Russia and Eurasia, over 2 million in the Middle East and North Africa, and almost 1.3 million in the Americas. Their work generates $150 billion, three times the profit of Apple. Slavery was abolished in Europe over 200 years ago, and international laws and declarations against slavery have been in place for over 80 years. But too many countries have neither the will nor the means to enforce these laws. Because global corporations are richer than some countries, they have a crucial role to play in fighting modern-day slavery. Apple is taking on debt bondage by requiring labor suppliers to refund excessive recruitment fees. They say they returned $3.9 million to workers in 2013. Intel spent five years examining its mineral supply chain in Congo and claims to have cut all ties to mines financing fighting in the region, mines that have been shown to rely on slave labor. And after the fire at Rana Plaza in Bangladesh, 150 fashion brands signed a building safety accord and pledged to hold their suppliers to account. These kinds of actions are just a start. A lot more can and should be done by corporations.